hey friends here on Facebook happy Thursday so it has been a while uh, that I've been on live or even posted on social media for many reasons one of which I got my phone phone stolen in an unfortunate series of events uh, about a week ago day before Thanksgiving so I was out of commission from having a phone <clears throat> and then uh, yeah it's just been a little bit slow going after the holiday getting back home but I wanted to pop on to talk to you guys about something that hit me yesterday when I got one of my functional medicine, hey Bob, lab tests back. So for those of you that are my friends here in New York, unfortunately this test cannot be done in New York State. And for all of these um, years that I was actually practicing in a physical brick and mortar practice, I couldn't use it because my, I had a physical location and my patients couldn't, couldn't use it. However, now that I'm 100% virtual, I myself got the test done and I will be ordering it for my clients, but it is a food sensitivity test. It was one of four tests actually that I did. All, none of the four tests could be done in New York State, I don't believe, maybe the stool test could have, but I actually physically went to Miami and Gainesville, Florida, not to do these tests, but I went down there for vacation and I brought the kids with me and decided to do them while I was on vacation. So I received back yesterday my food sensitivity testing. So what they did, it is a lymphocyte based test. So essentially what they do is they, I think it was five vials of blood that were taken and they mixed my blood with, I think it was 400, I have my results here, 480 um, different types of food substances. And they weren't all food. There were some chemicals in there and preservatives and such. And the title of this video was um, why I may have been totally missing the boat. So for the past couple months, um, historically when I've competed, I've been able to drop weight like that. Obviously with significantly cutting, cutting calories, but I'm a pretty healthy eater. And I found over the past few months that it's really been hard for me just to sort of drop the bloat, the weight, the inflammation. Um, so what do I do? I actually pulled back and said, okay, what am I eating that's potentially bothering my gut? Okay, because let's just rewind a little bit. For those of you that don't know, obviously Dr. Renee, functional medicine practitioner who focuses on the gut. <laughs> and you know, 60 per, up to, upwards of 60% of our immune systems in our gut, 90% of our serotonin's made in our gut, right? So if we don't have a happy gut because of the foods we're eating, we're not gonna be happy and we're gonna get sick. So, and you can actually develop chronic uh, autoimmune conditions from something called leaky gut, which I won't get into. But so where this goes to is that there may be foods that someone's eating that's bothering their intestine, the lining, their gut. And that chronic inflammation just causes, um, you know, obviously your serotonin not to be produced. You know, the, the, the cells are normal, so you don't have your intact immune system. And not only that, the, the get gaps in your intestinal lining leading to leaky gut, which can lead to autoimmune disease. So I know all this, right? So when I'm having this, and I, I've had this like low grade inflammation in my belly physically, that some days is less than others. So I started my research as far as on my own body and eliminating before I got this test done. Because I've had this kit in my possession for mm, a good month and a half now. And I, I, it was just too labor intensive for me to actually do it. Obviously, I can't do it here in New York State. You cannot get this blood drawn or shipped from New York State. And number two, like to drive to Vermont, I actually had another blood test that I had to do. And long story short, I just had to go on vacation to get it done. So, um, and I honestly, I had to be fasting for 12 hours. I couldn't shower before this. You could not put any lotions on. I couldn't brush my teeth. I couldn't do anything. If I was going to shower, wash my body, wash my hair, I had to do it 12 hours before the blood draw. Um, no lotions, no deodorants. And basically that morning I just had to get up, roll out of bed, roll to the mobile phlebotomist because I actually had a phlebotomist come to my hotel and draw my blood in the middle of a hallway because my kids were sleeping at 5.30 in the morning. But without all being said, I'm so happy I did it because what I was doing prior to this, so when I had that belly blow, I'm like, well, maybe it's your, your typical gluten and dairy. So I was trying to eliminate gluten and dairy. What else was I eliminating? I had, I thought maybe peppers, like some of the nightshades, but I wasn't sure. 
Um, what else was I eliminating? Gosh. Oh, nuts. I thought maybe nuts. So I was eliminating them. And it was interesting. Even if like I eliminated them one day, I feel I'd eat nuts the next day. I still, I feel less inflamed. Um, and I was like, okay, maybe it's not the nuts. So I was completely at a loss of what was going on. And so the majority of people, when they go on a typical elimination diet without doing testing, they are eliminating the common allergens. And this is what I did for typical, my, most of my New York patients because we couldn't get really good testing. So we would start with eliminating gluten, dairy, soy, nightshades, um, nuts, what else? I'm, I'm missing a ton, but, and, and go from there. And so I would completely miss the boats, guys, because one of my strong reactions was cane sugar. Now, I don't eat a ton of sugar. However, every day for the past four years, almost every day, I take one to two scoops of my natural plant-based pre-workout. However, the number one ingredient is organic cane sugar. Um, and then I also can't have beet sugar. Every day for the past four years, actually four and a half years now, maybe not every day, if I didn't work out, I would have my post-workout recover. First ingredient, beet sugar. Again, these are good, you know, sugar's not bad. And most, if not all of the pre-workouts have some sort of sugar. I think sometimes the artificial crap is even worse because I actually do have a sensitivity to one of the artificial sweeteners also. Um, but I would completely miss the boat because every single day, it's interesting, I start my day with my workout and my pre-workout. And I'm not saying I'm not going back to my pre-workout after the six months <laughs> elimination period. However, maybe I just won't have, maybe I'll take breaks from it, right? So I'm not exposed, but it's not that much sugar. However, there are other things in there. So I got, I start my day with some organic cane sugar, some beet sugar in my pre-workout, post-workout, right? Then I have recently gotten on to um, cassava flour, like some of the chips that, is, again, I'm getting away from gluten. So I moved on to cassava flour. Well, I have a severe sensitivity to tapioca, which is like cassava. So that wasn't, and that would not have been on my radar to eliminate. And I have a strong reaction to that. So every time I was buying these chips, thinking I was doing a body good and eating them, no. Um, cottonseed oil, I, I don't have cottonseed oil, but, and then some of the moderate reactions I have. So these are foods that I actually have to avoid for three months um, the best I can. And the, the purpose of avoiding them is obviously my gut doesn't like them. So when I avoid them, it allows my gut to heal. And not only that, you know, you remove, but then I have to start repairing. So I will probably be adding on some glutamine. I honestly stopped all my supplements because I wanted to see what my four tests came back. And as I give my, my tests back, I will talk to you guys about them. But I am, I cannot have oranges. Um, and I don't really eat oranges. I don't have orange juice. But I've been having lots of peppers. So I can't have peppers or white potatoes. So who doesn't like a French fry once in a while? And I sometimes even get the potatoes, cut up the, the potatoes, sea salt, olive oil, put them in the oven healthy right no <laughs> my i am having a reaction to them so i can't have white potatoes or peppers and so since those two are nightshades i pretty much should avoid all the nightshades which also includes tomatoes so tonight i was going to make a tomato based recipe that's not going to happen um and eggplant i love eggplant lemon guys i just got on this kick recently of putting for a while you guys know i do my detox water i got off that kick because i was having tons of lemon in my water but recently I've been adding lemon essential oil. Can't have lemon. Um, what else? Ethyl mercury, that's in thimerosal, which is in vaccines, and I do not get the flu shot, so, and I, I'm not gonna be planning on getting any vaccines anytime soon in D, so that's your bug spray, but. And butter. So I wasn't, so even if I had avoided dairy and gluten, guys, I'm still having butter. Like, I, I avoid milk, I wasn't having yogurt, which I, I really like yogurt plain yogurt flavored with stevia. So I can still have stevia, which is one of my favorite sweeteners anyhow, so that's not a big deal. And in my pre-workout, my post-workout, there is stevia. Uh, no, uh, white sweet potatoes, they, um, probably not. I could do, I can do, oh, sweet potatoes? Oh yes, I can do, I can do sweet potatoes. I can't do white potatoes. Because all of the, um, Kara, I, I, I'm, the potato family is not completely out, it's just the white potatoes because they did test me for sweet potatoes and I was fine. Um, but yeah, I mean, they do list everything that was tested. And you know, some things are things that, like they're toxins that I, I wouldn't be putting in my body anyhow, but they tested spices. I mean, it was an extensive list of things that they tested. 
Um, and butter. So butter. I was having um, butter pretty much very often, actually, with like when I make eggs, I put butter. So my point is, like, I thought I was removing the things that I was possibly sensitive to, but I was missing the boat on a lot of things throughout the day. And it wasn't just one thing. I wasn't overloading on sugar. But you guys know cane sugars in a lot of things. Like, I'm only human. There are times that I'll have something packaged with sugar in it. Um, what was I looking at? Oh, I was going to put chocolate chips and banana bread. Like, right up there is cane sugar. And you all know when you read a label, the first ingredient is the highest amount in the you know food type. So, like, I really have to be conscious. I can have coffee, fortunately. They tested coffee. In the past, I had been sensitive to coffee. I can have coffee. Sorry. I was just getting a message. Um, a call from my sister, <laughs> who's probably going to watch this video. Um, most sweet potatoes are out for people. Um, yeah, yeah, I, whatever. I don't go fancy with it. In this area, we, we, we have sweet potatoes or white potatoes. Like where I live, there's not a fanciness between <laughs> white sweet potatoes. And I, I don't know. If, I don't know if you can generalize. Um, oh, another thing is turnip fries. Turnip fries are awesome. So, anyhow, my point is like, I don't think you can generalize like white potatoes aren't good for anyone or are out for people because I thought the same for gluten with me and I'm fine as per, you know, the gluten has a whole nother issue in, in breads and flours and, you know, like there's a, there's a point where I, yes, I can eat them cause I'm not reactive, but will I eat them for my health? No. And the same with white potatoes, like I'm not a huge white potato eater, so I didn't get that. I'm like, oh, you know, I honestly, when I got it and I looked at the ingredients of my pre-workout, I went, oh, because I truly, um, oh, Walmart has them. Uh, well, again, Walmart's a half hour for me, so I don't typically shop at Walmart. Um, but I, I, I've got to streamline my life lately. Um, I'm getting super busy with my business, so there might be a little more Thrive coming in, and I think they do some food types. But anyhow information is power that's my point guys and had i not done this test it was a pain in the butt to do i'm not gonna lie because of the whole fasting for 12 hours the phlebotomist was coming at 5 30 that i was on vacation i couldn't go out to dinner with my family because i had to be and like i couldn't eat after 5 30. i honestly i went to bed by like 6 30 because i'm like i'm gonna screw up if i just don't go sleep <laughs> i'm gonna eat something i could have water but you know it's kind of gross if you can't brush your teeth right before bed. So I couldn't go from like six to like 10 o'clock and not brush my teeth again. So I just went, and so if I, I hear a lot of times, like there's a lot of obstacles. Again, New York state residents, you can't get this test. However, if you leave the state, like I did, I got the, t the test shipped elsewhere. Um, I left the state, got it drawn. Like no one should be able to tell me that I can't do a test. And I understand the the um, legality of it and the problems with them shipping and me getting drawn and, and sent from New York State. That's whatever. I'm not going to break any laws. However, my information is my information. My health is my health. My gut is my gut. My gut is my like second brain. That's what they call it. And sometimes I think it's your first brain. But I need it to be healthy. And I wasn't feeling great. And I knew it. I could feel it. And a lot of people are so used to feeling bloated and gassy and they just assume that's normal. And my friends, that is not normal to feel like that. And it's not normal to have like a little, when you're you're actively trying to eat well and I'm working out and I'm doing everything. And it's not like I need my six pack abs back like I, when I was comp competing. But when you have that chronic like midsection blow all the time and you you know you're eating well, it's like, what the heck is going on? So I had to do this testing to figure out what was going on. I now know I will eliminate and it's not the end of the day. Honestly, I can have natural sugars. I can have, you know, wine has natural sugars in it, obviously. If you guys watch my Instagram stories, I just talked about ordering dry farm wines, which is less sugar, biodynamic, natural, you know, wines, um, lower alcohol, like all the good stuff if I'm going to have wine. Um, you know, they tested different alcohols. You know, I can have hops, so I can have beer, even though I'm not a beer drinker. Like, so food and enjoyment is not completely out because I have to I have to avoid these 18 food types and grapefruit I can't have I never have grapefruit oh phthalates was on there by the way this isn't a lot of beauty care products so I've got to go upstairs after like over the next couple days and make sure that my um a lot of my products I just ordered a new skincare line that's like completely clean non-toxic you know I, it's a complete overall guys overhaul in my beauty products and my makeup 
you know, in my hair products and everything, but it is so worth it at the end of the day when my body is happy again <laughs> and I'm not putting all this toxic stuff in and on it that it's not happening. It's not having. Um, and obviously this stuff is not toxic. Sugars, you know, too much of it is inflammatory, by the way. I wasn't eating too much of it, but I was obviously my body wasn't liking even the small amounts I was eating. So my point is like, you might have to think outside the box if, you know, again, you have some belly bloat that you're like, I'm eating well, what's going on? Maybe some bowel issues, maybe some mood issues, anxiety, depression. Again, a lot of, again, I'm not, I'm not saying don't take medications. I'm not saying you don't have it. I'm just saying we have to look a little further and a little deeper because it could be sourced a lot of it in the gut, especially if someone has underlying anxiety that's been pretty well controlled and all of a sudden it's gotten worse. You guys have to think like, oh my gosh, did something change? It's, Start paying attention to your gut. Start trying to eat mostly whole foods. Try to, you know, again, if you're not gonna do testing, eliminate the common allergens. And if you're still not feeling better, then you gotta ask more questions, okay? So for two more days, guys, I am extending a $50 off for my initial consultation. It does not include testing, unfortunately, but at least it's, it's a step into the right direction of like tapping into my brain of how to make you feel better and healthier based on how what your goals are for 2020 and how you're feeling now give you a roadmap for your success for 2020 so that will be you need to uh book a, a call by the end of this week um it will expire and uh yeah you know my goal right now is to get you know information is power knowledge is power just getting more information out to you guys as best i can I will be back on the local news on News Talk December 23rd, so stay tuned. I will remind you guys again, if you have any questions, you can call in at that time. Obviously, when I pop on here, you guys can chime in. Uh, I'll probably be hopping into my holistic health group at some point today to chat with them about something. Um, so I am readily available for free, obviously, to talk about things, but when you want your personalized one-on-one -on -one care, that's when you gotta work with me. Okay, guys? Uh, I hope this helped. I know I'm long-winded, but when I, it was really eye-opening for me to get this test back. And um, it is available for everybody. And uh, sometimes you just got to work a little harder to get it done. All right, guys. I love you. And uh, happy Thursday. And I am back, so you'll be seeing me more often. I'm sorry if you don't want to see me, but just tune out if you don't want to see me. And if you do, I have much more information coming your way. Okay. Have a good one.